good. You know, I'm trying to be inspired by that story of yours I saw earlier this week, the Silly Walks, and, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit. I am walking, and our walk has been a little start and stop because we are here live on TV. Many of you, though, if you've done the walk, you could be finished by now, and you could even be on to the next part of it all, the scavenger hunt. This is such an important event, more important now than ever before. Clearly, we're in the midst of this pandemic, so a lot has changed, but they still need to raise money, need to raise funds so they can continue to grant wishes. Every step you take brings these kids who are facing critical illnesses one step closer to seeing that wish granted. Right now, I was just looking, I refreshed this page. They are now 54% of the way to their fundraising goal. They need your help to reach it all the way. We've got information on our website. I also got a chance to talk over FaceTime with the CEO of Make-A-Wish. She is in her neighborhood right now. Let's take a listen. Our wishes have been impacted during this pandemic, and so has our fundraising. So the opportunity to still have a virtual event, uh, have people uh, sign up, make a difference for our kids, whether it's a $5 donation, $25, $50, they will all make a big difference in the lives of our kids and help us to have the resources uh, to grant their wishes as soon as possible. Hey, you know, one of the tricky things about trying to do live TV and walk is that um, it's easy for your earpiece to fall out when it's breezy and you're moving. So there we go. Got it back in, Saima. <laughs> and ready to continue such an incredibly important organization. Yeah, Jennifer Ann. So how many wishes have been postponed? Have there any been have there been any wishes fulfilled during this time as well? Because I know it's been really hard on these children. Right. I mean, so much has been canceled during this pandemic and there have been about uh, somewhere between 170 and 200 wishes that had to be postponed, that they had the, the donations, they had everything set up, but they had to be postponed because of this pandemic. These kids are critically ill. But the good news is today, two kids had their wishes granted. They were surprised with shopping sprees. That all happened on Facebook Live, which was really fun and emotional to see. Every year, I always cry a couple times throughout the morning hearing all these stories, and uh, it was neat to be a part, even virtually, of this event.